Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report. We got some breaking news here to cover. The Las Vegas Raiders are trading away star tight end Darren Waller to the New York Giants. In return, Las Vegas gets a third round pick. It is number 100 overall. What I want to know from everybody watching the show right now is who wins the trade? Is it the Giants or is it the Las Vegas Raiders? The duh type of answer that you are going to get from me is this. If Darren Waller is healthy, this is a massive loss for the Raiders. If Darren Waller is not healthy at age 31, this is a win for the Silver and Black. I am curious to see what they decide to do moving forward here in terms of free agency because as it stands right now, the Raiders, before that trade, were somewhere around $15 million. Now you move on from Waller, now you're somewhere around 11.6 added. So let's say 26, 27 million for salary cap purposes. You're back in the top seven. But these are the official trade details. Darren Waller, who has been a top three tight end when healthy, he is now going to the New York Giants. The Raiders get that third round pick, number 100 overall. Last season for the Silver and Black, Waller appeared in nine games, started in only six. The year before that, started 11 games and played in 11. What a lot of people are wondering is, all right, Mitch, what is the Raiders playing now at tight end? Because by trading away Waller, to me, that screams, you either got to go out and sign somebody in free agency or you have to add a tight end. In the draft, because as it stands right now, the Raiders starting tight end would be Jesper Horstead, who realistically is not that very big of a player. He's pretty uh, undersized, if you will, in terms of overall size at that tight end possession. Now you got Cole Fotheringham. Foster Moreau, he's a free agent. I don't anticipate that they end up bringing him back because he's looking for something around 1.5 million dollars it's also just shows that josh mcdaniel says whatever he wants to say so listen to this quote from josh mcdaniels 15 days ago from mcdaniels i have a great deal of confidence in darren waller he'll be a big part of what we are going to do going forward that's what Josh McDaniels, Raiders head coach, said about Darren Waller. I have a great deal of confidence in Waller. He'll be a big part of what we are going to do going forward. Like I said on during our live show, if you watch this on a later date, remember for free agency, Chugs and I, we're going to be live. We're going to be breaking it down. If you want more news, rumors around the silver and black, make sure you hit that subscribe button for free news videos all the time going down, whether you like it, whether you don't. We are going to be here, and we are going to be interacting with the nation. So take a second. There's a reason why we have over 134,000 subs. We have that commitment to excellence. I just wish the Raiders would as well. All right, y'all. So here's the deal that went down yet again. The Raiders get a third-round pick, number 100 overall. The New York Giants, they received Darren Waller. Coming up here on the show, we're going to show you some reactions from some Raiders players. And, yeah, now you got 12 draft picks, which is great and all. But also, on top of that, you do have some more money. We'll see what they decide to do. Josh Jacobs tweeted out, shit sad for real. I don't know if Jacobs is talking about the Waller deal. Because Jacobs also tweeted out the teeth, like, grinning emoji with eyes. Deleted it. And I know a lot of people started tweeting about that. And maybe Jacobs is saying to, like, people like me, man, shit sad for real. That dudes are just tweeting stuff out about that. But I do find it... A little bit of interesting timing for the Raiders running back Jacobs, who remember, Jacobs said, if you guys are going to franchise tag me, you better build around me. Now, that tells me that Jacobs doesn't seem very happy. You could say what you want about Devontae Adams yesterday. I'll say this again. Doesn't really seem like he was very happy with the Jimmy Garoppolo move. Jermaine Illuminor, yeah, he's a free agent, but he was on the Raiders last year. Jermaine Illuminor tweeted, bro, W T. F. We will continue to break down the Waller move and another tight end that the Raiders could potentially sign according to reports. But before I get into that, today's show is presented by AG1. I want you guys to build a foundation for better health. If anybody tuned into our live show yesterday, it was an absolute shit show. And shout out to AG1 for sponsoring today's Raiders report. They're always helping me out and I take AG1 because I wanted... 
better immune system support and one of the supplement that tastes great. I take AG1 in the morning and it makes me feel ready to take on my day. My grandma always said the early bird gets the worm and now I take AG1 to get as many worms as possible. AG1 really helps me getting my day started. Getting out of bed, especially after some of our wild shows, it can be difficult. And I'm a person who likes and needs a routine. AG1 helps me stick to my healthy routine, wake up early, take my AG1, take my dog Chuck for a walk, then hit the gym before work. Covering my nutritional basis for the day literally going to be easier, which is why I trust Athletic Greens. I just mix one small scoop of AG1 with water and drink it first thing each morning. Done. I also like it because it costs less than $3 a day. That's pretty good if you ask me. It's a really effective daily habit with the highest quality sourced ingredients. It is a win-win. If a comprehensive solution is what you need from your supplement routine, then Athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. So go to athleticgreens.com slash chat sports. That's athleticgreens.com slash chat sports. Comments going to be for you guys down in the description and the uh, comment section of today's video. So the breaking news is true. Darren Waller traded away to the New York Giants. And, I mean, when you really think about it, What's crazy is, you know, there was all those reports out there. Are the Raiders going to trade Waller? Are the Raiders going to trade Waller? Josh McDaniel said Waller 15 days ago is he is going to be a big part of what the Silver and Black do going forward. Friendly reminder, do you remember when all those jerseys went 50% off? I know I do. All the jerseys go 50% off around Waller, and now we see the deal ends up getting it done. So I want to know from all of y'all, what is your one-word reaction? to the Raiders trading away Darren Waller. My one word reaction is shocked. Like, and I'm shocked because I really thought that this team needs a good tight end to be able to succeed. I know when they gave him that contract extension, I know he's battled some injuries, but to only get a third round pick 100 overall, I wanted a little bit more. It does sound like this Raiders team once can try to continue to build through the draft, but McDaniels, man, you guys got to start selling the Raiders fans that we can believe in you because at this point, I don't know if they actually can. I don't know if we can believe in you. When you're coming off a season where you're 10 and 7, you go to the playoffs, you bring in Ziegler, you bring in McDaniels, then you go 6 and 11, and you've pulled off the moves that the Raiders have pulled off this offseason. There's a lot to be left desired. If at the end of the year the Raiders are successful, and if at the end of the year you have a good organization, then guess what? We can take an L. But it's hard right now to be able to convince Raider fans that you're doing the right things and doing what's best for the silver and black. The report that came out about an hour ago was the Raiders were apparently interested in tight end Mercedes Lewis. Mercedes Lewis last season had five catches, I believe, for 39 yards. He is really only a blocking tight end. The one positive spin I can put on this with the Raiders is maybe they like a certain guy in the draft. I would say the most deep position in the 2023 NFL draft outside a cornerback. It's cornerback on defense. On the offensive side of the football, it's tight end. Maybe the silver and black decide to go with the tight end. All I know is now that the Raiders have 12 picks in total. Pick number 7, pick 38. Two third round picks now at 70 and 100. A fourth round pick at 109. Three fifth round picks. Two sixth round picks. Two sevens. Sounds like this team really wants to build in the draft upcoming. So my question to all of you is this. The Raiders need a tight end. Are they going to sign one? Are they going to draft one? Uh, maybe both. Are they going to trade for someone? I have no idea what the answer is. But this just goes to show again, if you're not a part of that McDaniels or Ziegler crew, Waller was a, Waller was a team captain. Waller was a captain in 2021 and lost his captain status. They took that away from him. And I think now you're starting to see there was a lot of speculation of how much Waller wanted to play football still, how much speculation he loved being a Raider. McDaniels and Ziegler are not afraid whatsoever to move on from you if they think that it's best for the team. I just don't know if I believe that they know at this point what is truly best for the team. It's just... You can't believe anything that comes out of these guys' mouths. Jasper Horstead, the tight end one. Cole Fotheringham, the tight end two. Foster Moreau is a free agent. So if the season were to start today, 
I'd be curious to see what the Raiders would do at the offensive side of the football. The next thing that I need all y'all to be looking at, especially hit me up Twitter, Instagram, at MitchellRent365, is what are the Raiders going to do with Hunter Renfro? Because to me, you got Jacoby Myers. You have to move on from Renfro before Friday. At least it makes the most sense to move on from him before Friday. But if you do that, again, I think that your offense has gotten worse and I would say that your defense hasn't gotten any better. Stay up to date. News. I got you guys covered at Mitchell Renz 365.